journey of trying to build something new, bring it to market, and sell it to customers is unnecessarily complicated. How do I make one prototype? How do I make 10 demo units? And how do I make the first 100 systems that I'm going to be selling to customers to prove an idea has a place in the market? Follow me this way and I'll show you what a 21st century factory is supposed to be. I feel like being an artist, it's the space itself that excites me the most. The amount of detail that went into the lighting and the, the design of the place, the mural of the place. I feel like when customers come in and want to have a product design, the space itself is going to make them want to actually just enjoy their space and enjoy their time beyond just the product that's being made for them. I was very impressed by the design because, you know, on the one hand, it's good to have sort of the manufacturing capabilities and the prototyping capabilities. But I think that because, you know, there is so much art on the walls and it's designed very nicely and it feels like an inspiring space to be working in. First impressions, I felt firstly an overwhelming sense of cleanliness, which I value quite a lot. Cleanliness means organization. Organization means productivity. One of the main things that I find daunting in any sort of uh, working with labs and, and, and product development, that's it, is just a sense of belonging. This feeling that you can approach people and they are approachable, and um, it's, an, it's a conducive environment for learning, learning new skills, passing it on. Here you can have direct access. Accessibility translates into affordability, and affordability translates into cost-saving measures. I haven't experienced anything quite similar to this at all. The all-in-one solution is exceptionally alluring. The ability to take the initial concept, get it done, print it at the lab, chat to the experts here, taking it step by step through the design process with the same people from start to end, rather than having to go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. I've never seen anything like this. I'm really pleased to see something like this here in uh, Cape Town. Uh, it's definitely a step forward. We have been looking for the technology before couldn't find it locally, so we now actually know it's available for us. The lab can offer us actually technology which hasn't been available before, therefore it just brings me further to the point where I can easier outlet my ideas and uh, let my creativity go. What excites me about the new lab in Cape Town is the endless possibilities. As a small business, um, for me, my problem was that when I do go to bigger companies, I need to print 1,000 or 5,000, 10,000 pieces at a time. Whereas here, I can do my 10 or my 100 or my hundreds. Coming into the space, I can actually take that idea and make it tangible. I like to see when the scientific world and the artistic world merge in some way because engineers are artists. They create things out of nothing. And that's what's being done here. So I think that having a space that's artistically inspired is a great way to make sure that the people who work in it are also equally inspired. So for you as an entrepreneur or small business owner, you've always had the idea of something that you've wanted to take to market. You've got a crazy idea and you thought that mass manufacturing and logistics was just too big of a hurdle to overcome. All of those problems are now gone. We're the facility that allows you to overcome that one to 100 challenge. How do I make one prototype? How do I make 10 demo units? And how do I make the first 100 systems for customers?